Hello everybody, my name is James, hope you're doing well and welcome back to another video. So let's start with Red Bull, with more information being revealed about Sergio Perez's contract. Now the last 6 races have been awful for Perez, with him only scoring 15 points in that time, while teammate Max Verstappen has secured several wins and 119 points during the same period. Now as we know Perez had signed a contract extension that keeps him at the team to next year, but Red Bull team boss Christian Horner has said his current performances are unsustainable. He said, he knows it's unsustainable to not be scoring points. We have to be scoring points in that car, and he knows that. He knows his role and his target. So nobody is more eager than Sergio to find his form again. Now according to Motorsport.com, even though Perez did sign a contract extension, he still could be dropped, potentially as early as the summer break, if things don't change. Basically, the publication said that sources have suggested that Rebel has the right to terminate Perez's contract if he falls more than 100 points behind Verstappen at key points of the championship, which are the summer break and the end of the season. But right now, he's 137 points adrift and has just two races to get himself within that 100 points range before the summer break. So quite a situation, and it could leave the door open to Daniel Ricciardo or Yuki Tsunoda to potentially replace him if something were to happen. And then that could open up an opportunity for Liam Lawson, who as we know is scheduled to conduct a filming day in a 2024 Red Bull car at Silverstone later this week. So let's see what happens. But on the subject of Red Bull, advisor Dr. Helmut Marko has spoken about Lewis Hamilton's win in Silverstone. Now Mercedes have found pace in recent Grand Prix, and they really did deliver in Silverstone, with them for large chunks of the race way quicker than Red Bull and Max Verstappen and Hamilton was able to take the top step after 945 days since his last win, which came during his title fight with Max Verstappen in 2021. So really good achievement for Hamilton and Mercedes. And speaking about it, Marco said, You can only congratulate Hamilton. He held up well on a dry track. You then see his strength in terms of tyre management. We could see that his tyres had already started to grain slightly, and we thought it would be okay. But that shows what a master he is, who can read a race, and who challenges the tyres just right so they don't collapse. Lewis Hamilton did a great job, and that just shows how much experience and speed he still has. But that's going to be the video from me today, thank you ever so much for watching, make sure to like and subscribe for more videos, and until the next one, take care, bye.